ladies and gentlemen, I bring you warm greetings from His Majesty, the Isevantu Chabazinga, and Mama Inevantu, whom I represent here today. His Majesty has put together a high-powered team to come and listen to you today as you brief the Kingdom and indeed of Soga on the impending nuclear power plant in Wiende. At an opportune time or moment, uh, Madam Sarah, I will share with you the team his Majesty has pleased to be working with the Ministry to the advancement of this project. Today is a very important day where finally the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development decided to honor the Kingdom with a special visit where, among others, things we expect to be briefed and brought on board in matters of the proposed Buyende nuclear power project. In this meeting, we expect to be facilitated to increase deeper appreciation and understanding of the scheduled development of the power plant in Budiope, Buyende, to the full benefit of our people and the country. I wish to convey the blessings of His Majesty Chavazing of Busoga, William Governor Diope IV, who is fully informed about this meeting and is very eager to be briefed about the outcomes of these discussions. We are custodians of our heritage and support government in socioeconomic transformation of our people. This meeting, although long overdue, is very welcome and timely initiative, being one of the most uh, one of the steps towards generating a Busoga position on the project. And I'm here to tender the goodwill and blessing of His Majesty the Chabazing of Busoga on today's subject matters. Our interest as a kingdom is mainly focusing on ensuring full benefit of the PAPs, the community, and the kingdom. To underscore the level of importance attached to this project, His Majesty the Chabazinga assigned me the responsibility to coordinate the interests of the people of Buyende and the surrounding areas and the entire kingdom as pertains to the proposed development of the project to the best interest of Busoga. I'm also under instructions to make sure our Chavazinga Wabusoga is supportive to government in making sure the project goes as planned. The Chavazinga is very concerned to learn in details the planned project and the execution plans of this nascent project and would like to highlight areas of concerns as follows. One, it's our wish to inform government, particularly the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development and the Parliament of Uganda, that the laws relating to exploration and distribution of wealth accruing from such projects is very wanting and should be amended to reflect the wishes of the people. In most parts of Uganda, especially where the kingdoms were restored by the leadership of His Excellency, President Yuri Kagutam Seven, the people trust the kingdom leadership, and to them the kingdoms are indeed the cultural custodians of the heritage and resources of the land. We are therefore important stakeholders who should be brought on board at the initial stage of such projects. In Busoga, we are very well positioned to speak for all the Basoga, irrespective of their political, religious, and other diversities. We should therefore always be brought on board in the planning and execution phases as key stakeholders on projects like this that affect communities. In doing so, government projects would move smoothly, saving time and money. We therefore expect to play a significant role that safeguards the interests of our people, the environment, and supporting government to smooth sail in areas such as community engagements sensitization. Handling cultural settlements, peculiarities that involve cultural norms, e.g. grave relocation, proper handling of the cultural attachments, and giving social psycho support to affected persons. Fair and transparent compensation. 
The king is also concerned about the methodology and compensation value for the pups. Given the permanent loss of ownership to the pups, we expect fair compensation and transparent negotiations taking note of gender and power dynamics and land ownership intricacies, such as clan ownership, different land ownership, for example. Whom are you giving the money in case of clan ownership? Is there a possibility of buying land for them in lieu? Three, a robust resettlement plan where people will not be left homeless and or without land and livelihoods. Is government going to build for the pups? case of Bujagali, a great number of pups misuse their money and are now homeless. Four, deliberate LGAs for the region, establishing factories to our agriculture. In our view, because almost no one in the community will profitably participate in the value chain of the nuclear power plant, we propose a deliberate economic activity such as promotion, support to growing three high value crops that the government will support by giving initial inputs and establishing value addition factories that guarantee market, done in partnership with the kingdom. It will be successful and will make economic sense for the people and government will benefit from increased revenue collections. Five, support and adequate preparation for the host communities which will suffer stress in social services and, such as hospitals, ETC, and also cultural behavior shock. The kingdom can be facilitated to engage or do community engagements in the case of relocation within Busoga. Six, adequate share of jobs and other opportunities for the youth in the kingdom. His Majesty requests that a nuclear and other mining training institutes be established near the nuclear power plant with high-tech laboratories, including non-scientific training for job creation for our people to benefit. The training facility ought to be near the project area to mitigate expenses that may result from exporting nuclear to other places that may require further compensation of another category of pups due to the institute. Six, one, scholarships. We also expect to be given scholarships for our bright students to go abroad and study nuclear physics and biochemistry in countries already ahead in the chemistry, in the industry. Madam Sam, we request that we initiate negotiation for Owachabazinga Babusoga and Basoga to benefit from the royalties. It's a very important factor because everybody would want to know, every Musoga would want to know what is in return coming back from such a project. Eight, a robust environmental protection and safety measures plan during and after the project. The safety measures that are in place to mitigate dangers associated with the power plant. Nine, tangible social services projects for the affected communities and Busoga in general. Ten, subsidized power rates for Busoga to attract investment and light for our agricultural communities. Twelve, the kingdom to be given a clear role project or for the national committee on the project during and the implementation project time. The kingdom to benefit from the corporate social responsibility of the companies that are going to be involved in the project and government officials on this project that as of Wachabazinga Wabisoga, we are the overall cultural custodians of Soga's heritage, including natural resources, and are therefore the rightful beneficiaries. Indeed, Busoga is our inheritance, and we owe it our loyalty because we derive our livelihoods from it and should be noted that we have a deeper stake in as much as all Ugandans do. I thank you for coming to brief and appraise the kingdom